Hi, this is Steven Silver, and I would like to help, if I can, you graphic designers out there, you logo designers out there, because there is a big demand for you guys. But before I get into that, I got to tell you, there's some sites that are just god awful out there, which are, again, going to destroy the whole industry, which are already doing it when people, they're not making any money off of these things. Sites like 99designs, um, Design Crowd, um, Elance, these different sites that are set up to try to have you do work. Uh, these logo sites, this 99designs and Design Crowd are the worst things in existence today. And what happens is they create these competitions. So all of a sudden there's 150 designers all trying to compete to do a logo for a company who states in their description that they're going to use your designs for merchandise. They're going to maybe a gym and they're going to use it for t-shirts and they're going to put it on their bottles and they're going to do all this stuff with it. And you know what you get when you bid out everyone and everyone's just like a bunch of dogs just all trying to feed and try to get this. You get $200 if you're lucky for a logo. And Guys, it, logos are not two hundred dollars to for corporations. It's just, it's insane. And again, once you understand the leverage you have, then you can start to make a real living as a graphic designer and a logo designer. Okay, let me just shed just a little light. Just in the United States alone, there is over six hundred thousand new businesses that register for new businesses every single year. Six hundred thousand. Every single one of those companies need logos. Why? Because it is their brand. Their brand is what makes them. Their brand name is put on their websites, on their advertising for everything. It is a huge need. Again, the artists, we have that ability. And if you're a good logo designer and a good graphic designer, you have even more uh, leverage. So why give your work away for $200 and be scrambling and fighting? I mean, again, it's less than minimum wage anywhere by the time you're done with it. So these sites, I wouldn't even compete with those sites. I would stay as clear and as far from those sites and let those sites crumble because these guys who are putting these sites together are business guys taking advantage of the artist and all these other businesses. And even though it's a startup company, startup companies, they still have more than $200 to start a company. And maybe there's something you work out, okay? But different things you can do, okay? So you want to do logos? Every single city, no matter where you live in the world, um, has just, you got to register for a DBA when you're setting up a business. That means doing business as... And they list it in journals. You could just go to your city and type in just Los Angeles new DBAs or new business licenses and you'll get a list. And I know because I've looked and I've done it um, and I see that they exist. And you can find every single company that is registered, which means if you put in the time and energy and effort, you could get a head start on all these other companies, all these other people, and just call up these companies or put together some really nice business cards yourself, some nice flyer. They have their addresses listed and you send direct market to these companies your services that you will create their logo design. And when you do, they're going to say, well, how much is the logo? How much should it be? At that point, you negotiate. But I would say... You know, absolutely, you know, you need to put certain revisions and let them know the amount of work. If they're going to hire anyone else to do a job for them, if they, they need lawyers, they need contracts, they're already, when they're setting up a business, they know what it takes to set up a business. It's a, you know, it's an expense. And so they're paying that lawyer their 100 to $200 an hour for a lawyer for whatever they need there. They're paying contractors and the contractors are charging for their time and all their supplies. Okay. So you're an artist, you're part of that commodity and your work is going to be seen a lot further and a lot more worldwide than, than the then the plumbers, then the attorneys, then the contractors, then everyone else that's involved, then the people who are making their furniture, whoever it is, everyone's just going to always at the end of the day remember their logo. And that's what they're going to see the most is their logo. So your logo is so important and has so much power. So don't charge anything less than $500 and also know what it's going to be used for. Again, becomes usage. Well, what are your intentions? Well, we're going to take that logo and we're going to stick it on 
t-shirts and mugs and everything else. Okay, I'm, I need a charge for that and otherwise work out a deal to where you get a percentage of royalties. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm, I can't tell you everything, but this is where if you really want to get into this business, you need to research this. Okay. So you look at the business journals. They list every single one of these companies that are in business and you contact them. So how bad do you want this? You want to make a living at this? Then do it the right way. But by going through these websites, which are just charging a pittance, um, for it and these other companies are who are putting these sites together are making off like bandits off of your hard work think twice about that guys and this is my advice just for you if you do graphic design or logos remember just in the United States over 600,000 companies register every single year and it may even be more than that okay so check it out that's my advice to you um, you know build it make it work you got the power believe you got the power and you'll see the results